Hello there. In this video, I am going to show you how we created a mural for the students at Bethune Elementary School. I say we because this project could not have been accomplished without a very dear friend of mine who just happens to be an incredible muralist. From start to finish, this was a huge learning experience for me as someone who has never painted something so grand. And here is a little bit about how we did it. Our pre-planning time was really just about getting together, brainstorming ideas, and discussing different options. We looked at pictures of murals online, and I told Amanda some about what I wanted for the mural, which was to not only inspire students in the art room, but it would be cool for it to be a teaching tool as well, something that I can point towards during lessons. So from that, we decided it would be important to incorporate some of the elements of art and color theory into the mural. It was during the pre-planning stage that we also discussed materials. Since both Amanda and myself are big on waste reduction, we researched different resources and came across Charm. It is a local recycling center in Atlanta, and it turned out to be an incredible way to access recycled paint and also to fund the whole project. Planning was when we sat down and we got the chance to sketch out a design. <laughs> this was when sketchbooks come in handy. There was also a time when I picked up the materials from Charm that we would need for our painting day. So come painting day, um, we really just set a time and kind of knew what to expect because we had done a good job prepping. Um, so we just prepped the space and got to work. Um, on the right in this image, you can see that for painting letters, we use tape to get exact lines. Whereas for things like creating more organic shapes, we just use some chalk to place them. And as you can see, we chose not to pressure wash. This was an intentional choice because the contrast that the bright colors have against the more natural backdrop was kind of cool to both of us, so we just left it as is. And this is us working. <laughs> nice overcast day in Atlanta. In the next images, you'll get to see some of it all complete. We've got our warm colors on one side, cool colors on the other. They meet at a converging point. And overall, it was a really fun project, and I would recommend doing something like this to a lot of our teachers. It, it was really awesome. Hope you enjoyed.